Hey guys, we're back. We're we're finally here. Uh, the SWC or the uh, the SNK World Championships have concluded, and SNK did have a surprise at the end, and it was something that I was hoping for, which was our look at Fatal Fury, City of the Wolves, and that happened. And oh, oh my God, just. I'm really excited for this. I'm just gonna stop. Let's just look at this. They did release a few trailers. There was an announcement trailer, and then they also showed off the first five characters for the game. So we're gonna take a look at first the announcement trailer and then the the actual character trailer first. So here we go. MBS coming up, we start with that nice. And it looks like we start with the classic Fatal Fury here. Showing off all the Fatal Fury games that were shown that were made. Which leads us today. Hey, come on! This looks nice. Gonna take you for a ride. Try to keep up. But it's right? English, which is very interesting. Revgar, Flow, Art, so, mm. Now, we'll, we'll run this back afterwards, but no, it's just like, this looks freaking amazing. Rev it up on Leap Your Fury. Okay, I was hoping for this year, but it makes sense for them to put it in 2025, so. But, yeah, no, like, this, this looks great. They've nailed the style. I think this improves upon what we saw in, like, KOF 15. For sure. Because it seems to have, like, that cross of cell shading and, like, actual models. But, like, that just looks... Mm. I think they've, they've nailed it here. Like, all of this just looks sharp. And extremely well done. It has something that it can call its own. But here's the things that really make the stand out. So they have a rev system here. And I think this is going to be its replacement. Like its main hook for its gameplay mechanics. There isn't much that we get out of the trailer. But it looks... I want to know how you grow the meter. Or like how you rev up the meter here. But rev guard. These just look like blowback attacks. Or like no... Pushback, sorry. Pushbacks for guards. Here, let me just look at that again. So yeah, rev guard. Yeah, that's just pushbacks for guard attacks there. And then this is rev blows here. Now let's... Again, everything just goes by super quickly. So here with this, yeah, rev blows. Those look like top attacks. So attacks in top mode. But it looks like there's going to be a distinct aura for it. So like your character will glow green when it comes for that. So I wanna I these look like the the top moves when you're in top mode, but again, I I'm hoping we can get breakdowns of these in the future for what they are. But Rev Arts, what I'm guessing because they glow yellow for a second. I'm guessing these are EX versions. So like the standard special moves, so they've incorporated EX moves now into this game, and then Excel. I think it's the one I need to see how this works, but it looks like you can cancel. You can cancel specials into other specials. So I'm probably gonna get some of the names wrong here, but it looks like yeah, Burn Knuckle into Crack Shoe there. Then shoulder charge into like a diagonal rising tackle, and then a power dunk there is what it looks like. Whereas like rock chains from this into another like rising tackle there, and then a slam there. Sorry that I'm pausing it a lot, but it's just this is what I'm getting from it. Like this looks really cool. So the rev system is looks like like this meter. Yeah, this meter 
is going to be very important. And then it looks like you have supers here. So if that's probably going to be equivalent of, I guess, power and P power, probably for that. But no, I, I would like to see... I would honestly, sorry. I would like to see a better breakdown of how the rev system works because I think this is going to be something very crucial to gameplay. This is going to be something very crucial to gameplay here. But, like, we'll probably get more on that in the future. They, I know SNK did announce that they're going to have a playable build of this at Evo Japan next month. So maybe people who are there will get to hear some hands on of this and see if they can like you know talk about it some more but here's the next thing to talk about again the character trailers now they released two of them but this is the big thing here. take you for a ride try to keep up all right okay english voice acting hey, come on we haven't had english va in a SNK game for a long time. Oh my god, the car looks awesome. Is the path I chosen? I knew she was gonna make the cut. And T's like, oh my god, he looks awesome. He looks freaking awesome. Aha! Uh -huh. A fine specimen for my research. New character, Preacha. Okay, here we go. Here we can see actually some of the moves down. Ooh, nice. Yep, there's that. There's Excel. There's a super. Nice. Yeah, no, they've improved upon this one when we saw it last week, 2023, last year. Nice, there, there, there. Boom. That was his top. That, I think, could be improved, though, but again. This isn't final, so they have time to improve upon it. Oh, Jesus, Hotaru! Boom. I know this girl can be a lot of trouble. And she's living up to that name right now. Tizok, or King of Dinosaurs, is evil persona. What do you got for us? I do hope they make Tzok and Rock better in this. Because apparently they weren't that great in Mother of the Wolf. Is that a parry? I think this is a Muay Thai fighter. Joe's disciple? If you're not unbreakable, you must have a She looks awesome. This is for you, Terry! Terry, Terry, Terry. And it looks so good at Sensi. Legal Fury. City of the Wolves. No, I this looks um unbelievable. 2025. Now we'll break that down in a sec, but there's something I wanted to point out here, so we'll go back. But yeah, English voice acting, that's kind of a big deal. And also Terry's hair is clipping through, through his jacket. I just noticed that there, but no, English voice acting. We haven't had this in an SNK game in a long time. The last one that I remember having English voice acting, I believe was the King of Fighters 12 that had it. I believe that's what it was. If I'm wrong, please, please let me know below. But no, that's kind of a big deal. That we're getting that in this game. But no, the, the models look good. Uh, the models look good. And the game animates incredibly well, but... They released two versions of this trailer. We won't... I won't play a lot of the other one, but we'll use that for the breakdown. But there's English voice acting here. And then there's also Japanese. Top Gear, it's a. Hey, come on! So, I wonder if we're gonna get both options. 
But no, one thing I think is that I think the lip syncing is actually in tune with both, with a different language track, which is depressing. But again, I'll have to watch them again for that part here. But yeah, no, we're seeing the systems in play here, so... The rev, the rev system, I'm curious about, but this game just looks incredible. Like, of course, Rock and Terry being the stars right now with it. It just flows well. It is very flashy, though, so I'm wondering for those that will play this, will there be sensory overload? Like, I'm hoping, I don't think there will be, but there is a lot going on. When it comes to that, but no, like Buster Wolf here, I think this looks just okay. But again, they can't improve that for final build. So this is just at this current point in time. Hataru, I know, is just a beast. Like, if you know, if someone can play Hataru well, you can be in for a rough time. So, like, she looks good. Definitely, and I feel like she will be a menace here. And then, like, with Tezok, yeah, again, the big thing was, like, I did it. I did like Tezok. I like him as a character, and his moves are pretty awesome, but it's just, he, he wasn't that great of a character in Mark of the Wolves, same with Rock, so I'm hoping those two get, like, buffs, or at least are really viable this time. And then, the new character, Priya. She looks great. And again, she looks like Muay Thai, so I'm wondering if this is Joe's disciple here. If she is Joe's disciple for this, but... Or Precha, sorry. But yeah, no, like, I'm, I'm really liking what I see of this game. This is gonna be something awesome. And I can't wait to look at more of these trailers and break this stuff down, but they have a lot of time to show things because, again, the game's coming out in 2025, so there's plenty of time here for this, but no, I'm, I'm really stoked. This is something I'm really looking forward to, considering the last... Fatal Fury game was Garou Mark of the Wolves, and that came out in 1999. So we're getting a new one, like, after 20... 26 years. After 26 years, we're finally getting it. So this looks awesome. I can't wait to share more of this with you guys. What are your thoughts? Have you seen these trailers? Or have you played Fatal Fury before? Or are you familiar with the franchise? Like, is this going to be your first one? I'd love to hear what you all have to say about this. So leave your comments below, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you along for this ride. But with that, I thank all of you for watching and taking time out of your day. And until next time, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Super Retro Force.